It does seem that the dietary recommendations that we get from governmental agencies do change year to year, but still the fundamentals of what we should be eating are built upon what used to be called the food pyramid, and the bottom row of that food pyramid are foods that are very high in carbohydrate. The whole grain goodness that we're told to consume, the fruits, and to a lesser extent the vegetables, make up the, the bottom, the base of that pyramid. Above that we have things like meat, um, other types of foods, and at the very top are the higher fat-containing foods, the oils and the eggs and the nuts that we are all told to avoid. And in my opinion, that uh, approach to nutrition is topsy-turvy. It is the, uh, a recommendation for a diet that humans have never consumed in the entire time that we have lived on this planet. It's only with the advent of agriculture uh, 10,000 years ago <clears throat> that we even had access to these foods that now make up the fundamental part of our food, so-called food pyramid. In a very simple way, if you look at the generally accepted recommendations for what we should be eating and flip it upside down, I think you're going to get a better picture. Number one is to what humans have consumed for millions of years. And number two, what is the fundamental premise of the grain brain diet? And that is that most of your calories should come from good, wholesome, healthful fats, the monounsaturated fats, polyunsaturated fats, and even some saturated fats, again, foods that we've consumed for millions of years. The main thing that has to get at the very top of the food pyramid that we need to avoid desperately are foods that are high in carbohydrate. Now, I think we all understand that high sugar-containing foods, sweet drinks, etc., kind of it makes sense that we should avoid those foods. But please recognize that fruit is pure carbohydrate. And when we load our plates with the six to eight servings of fruit every day, we're loading our body with damaging sugars, damaging fructose. So again, more fat, less carbs.